Um, it's quite an interesting question. I think the sort of music we make anyway has quite, um, you know, has a sort of built up kind of sound to it anyway, quite a sort of a harsh, sort of gritty sound anyway. So I think some of our music being played, you know, in an environment like this is quite fitting in a way, you know what I mean? But I don't know, it's weird, you sort of just take in wherever you are. I think. I think I'd rather play somewhere like this with the music we make than on a beach. I don't think it would quite fit, you know, like on a mm -hmm. yeah. near the ocean or sand and people sunning it. Yeah. Playing the sort of music we make wouldn't work, so I think it's quite fitting to our soundscape in this kind of quite harsh landscape. So yeah, we have been. We won't. We won't be. We won't be tonight because where this is a festival, the time slots are different. So, but on our current tour, we're doing. It's actually 20 years next year of the band. So. We're not actually on the 20 year anniversary yet, we're 19 years, but we are um, yeah, you, uh, projecting actually in the film before we play every concert on, on this current tour with a big big screening and every, you know, it's been going down really well because it's a wicked bit of work and we wanted to still you know, get people to see it, so yeah it's, yeah, it's cool. This is the first time we've been here, so yeah. this is our first kind of, um, to sort of touch base, you know, with Slovakia and that, you know this this area that we're in. It's like so for us to do the festival was great because originally we we weren't doing this gig and then this gig came in right at the end of when we were planning the tour and we thought we've never been here. We really want to come come here and play. So you know we are playing in the yeah obviously like I said in Czech Republic and Poland and stuff. But hopefully this will be the first of many gigs in this country. So mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think you know archive was built from trip hop, you know, that's how we originated as a group. So it's always going to be an element of what we mm -hmm. do. But we've moved away from the kind of hip hop connotation that goes with trip hop, if you know what I mean. We're more sort of trip psychedelic rock now, I'd say. There's still that, you know, yes. some of the beats are still using that because it's quite weird. People always try and pigeonhole what people create. And I think people always think of Archive as a trip hop band. You know, we made one trip hop album we're not a trip hop group anymore. It's yes, because I'm feeling that the last album's not trip hop sounds. No, not at all. It's progressive. <laughs> it's progressive, exactly. So it's, yeah, like we say, trippy, progressive, psych rock, which, you know, which is better. Mm -hmm. I think it's more, yeah, we don't ever, you know, um, consciously try and create something that's hip or happening. We just, we just make what we want to make, you know. We don't sit and listen to what's trending and think we must do something like this. We're just inspired by interesting, you know, music that's that thinks out of the box, you know. We love progressive electronic music and we love progressive rock music and you know, it's we don't take inspirations from listening to other people, we just take inspiration from everything, you know, whether it be books or movies or surroundings or going to mm -hmm. see John Hopkins one time and seeing all the other acts that played with him, we were just like, wow, this is fantastic. It gives you moments of inspiration just seeing other really creative people work. And that's how we've always been, there's not one, we don't try and fit in, we just luckily do what we want to do and it seems to work. So, yeah. so not music trend, but uh, maybe uh, technology. Yeah, to create, exactly. Create. Yeah, yeah. Just forward thinking with mm -hmm. music and embracing what there is to use evolution. in modern music. Yeah, evolution is fantastic. You know, using the programs we use with plugins and stuff you can do with you know laptops and stuff is we embrace that. But we also still use vintage equipment with it, and we just like to mix everything up. It's the best way. I mean, when you've got everything at your fingertips, why would you not want to use it all? So, yeah. Basically, I think. We're very lucky that we have a really good understanding, especially as you know, members in the band and as musicians. We're all we've all been friends a long time, and the people we use uh, to help, you know, take archive onto the road. They want to work with us, you know. So you know, everyone has different offers to work, but we all know that when we're on the road with archive, it's it's a great experience and it's always a good time. We always, you know, we're not one of those bands where there's drunken fights and shit going on. We're always just the most chilled out bunch together because it wouldn't have lasted this long, you know. It shows the sort of personalities that's really strong and really, you know, good workers all together. And the team we've got is, is fantastic, you know, from the sound to the crew we work with to the band. It's, we're very lucky, we have a good, 
understanding of each other and respect each other, you have to, and long may it prosper. But now, how many person in on tours in your uh, stuff? In the in the whole setup, I think there's seventeen of us. Seventeen. Yeah, but there's uh, eight of us on stage, mm -hmm. and then the rest is everything with lights, video, yes. everything you know, tour manager, all that. So it's quite a few of us, and you have to you have to have a good uh, equilibrium of everyone to keep everything cool, so, and it works. So that's good.